wives, Lucille and Laura, and named it the Oil Dry Company. How do you sell a product that no one has ever seen or heard of before? Nick was up to the challenge. He renamed the product from floor dry to oil dry, created the famous Slipping Man trademark, and the first advertising featuring Uncle Elby and his dog Napoleon. He and his sales force staged product demonstrations wherever they found an oily floor. The business grew throughout the war. By 1945, Oil Dry had outgrown P.D. Jackson's old offices and moved to 520 North Michigan Avenue. Nick had finally made it from the parts warehouses on South Michigan Avenue to the prestige of the Magnificent Mile. And it was just the beginning. After incorporating in 1946, Oil Dry Management led the company through years of steady growth as the post-war economy flourished. In 1949, P.D. sold out his interest to Nick, who became the sole owner. The worlds of family and business blended again. As Nick's brothers returned from the war, Woodrow became sales manager, and Leo was bookkeeper. Sal worked in accounting when he wasn't looking for work as a musician from Michigan Avenue talent agencies. Freda Peters tried to keep the office organized. Since the beginning, the business was challenged by the need for a consistent source of raw materials. In the early 50s, Nick bought part interest in a mineral plant in Cairo, Georgia, with J. Kelly Dick, another strategic alliance that was critical to the company's success. By this time, Robert and Richard had come of age. At 16, Dick began working after school and weekends in the office and mailroom under Al Swerdlick's supervision. After graduating from South Shore High School in 1953, he went on to college at the University of Wisconsin, where he married Shirley Handmaker, an education major, two years later. Dick graduated with a degree in accounting and went on to earn his CPA. Robert Jaffe embarked on his own career founding Hamco, a manufacturer of wire and plastics for the food industry. Hamco was an oil dry subsidiary until it was spun off in 1971. 1958 was the year Dick Jaffe, at the age of 22, started to work full time with Oil Dry Corporation. At that time, sales were $1 million a year. Profits, 6,000. There were 15 employees and shipments of industrial floor absorbent averaged 20,000 tons a year. Dick's first assignment was critically important. A product quantity crisis had developed, and he went to the Georgia plant to try and straighten out the problem. He convinced his father of the need to purchase full control of the plant and become more than a sales and distribution company. Dick initiated Oil Dry's vertical integration through control of all operations, beginning with raw materials. It was the first of his many contributions to the company's growth. After completing the purchase of the Cairo plant, Nick and Richard negotiated the acquisition of Howell Southern Products in Ripley, Mississippi. But before the deal could be closed, Nick Jaffe passed away in 1962 at the age of 56. 26-year-old Dick now had to make another critical decision. With financing from the Harris Bank and support from his legal and accounting advisors, he completed the deal for Howell Southern Products. As Oil Dry marked its 25th anniversary, there was no turning back. With all the added capacity, sales had to be expanded through new products. Cat's Pride Cat Litter, Kitty Dry Cat Litter, Terra Green Soil Conditioner, and Agsorb Agricultural Carriers. The strategy worked. By 1969, sales had grown to $5 million. Earnings were $500,000. Dick's next move was to build a new plant near a mine in Oklockney, Georgia, 
to replace the aging Cairo facility. $1.2 million was needed. The time had come to take the company public with the help of William Blair and Company. A new management structure was established with a sales force organized by market, industrial, consumer, and agricultural. The 70s was a decade of rapid growth. Capacity and quality were improved with the expansion of the Ripley facility. With the purchase of the Prairie View Laboratory, the rudimentary research and development program began. Oil Dry also had worldwide plans. The markets of Europe and even Russia were very competitive, but full of potential. Using new technology for manufacturing synthetics, Oil Dry built plants in Inningham, England and Cologne, Germany and established subsidiaries. Oil Dry UK and Oil Dry SA, Switzerland and Germany. To serve West Coast markets in the U.S., the company located another mineral-rich area in the wilderness of Central Oregon. The assets and reserves of American Fossil Company became the fourth U.S. plant. In the late 70s, economic trends entered a series of downturns, especially in the industrial rust belt. Oil Dry's consumer products were more recession-resistant and surpassed industrial products in sales. Flow Free, a manufacturing byproduct, was also a success. By 1980, annual sales had reached $33 million. Earnings were $1.2 million. Infusing the company with young talent, management led the move away from commodity products into higher value specialty products like Pelunite pellet binder and Agsorb drying agent. An intensified research and development program begun in the early 70s firmly established oil dry's leading edge position in sorbent technologies. Expansion into Canada began with the purchase of 50% of Favorite Products Limited, manufacturers of Solar, Canada's number one selling cat litter. As the sales organization was revitalized and restructured, Oil Dry aggressively expanded all of its markets. Like his father, Dick knew the value of strategic alliances, and he created one with the Clorox company. Oil Dry needed the marketing expertise of a major consumer products company, and Clorox valued Oil Dry's R&D, mineral resources, and production capabilities. The first joint project was Fresh Step Cat Litter, which went national in 1984. To support growing sales, the Customer Service Department and the Oil Dry Transportation Company were formed. International operations continued to expand. After the Cologne plant was sold, exports were managed through offices and production facilities in the UK and Switzerland. New markets were opened in Japan, Malaysia, and Australia, and the remaining 50% of Favorite products in Canada was purchased. The Anschutz plant next to the O'Clockney facility was purchased, further expanding operations and becoming the Georgia South plant. The oil dry research effort developed two new technical products, pure flow bleaching clay and ultra clear clarification aid, for which the Georgia Potters plant was built. The Blue Mountain Mississippi plant was purchased to handle the growth in the consumer products business particularly the new strategic alliance with the Walmart company. Nick Jaffe was a positive thinker, but not even he could have predicted the success Oil Dry would achieve in its first 50 years. Since Dick Jaffe joined the company, sales have increased over 100-fold. In the last 20 years, the company's size has doubled every five years. A trend management is committed to maintaining through new value-added products.
customer-focused marketing, innovation, and imagination, and the dedication of the entire oil dry family. In fact, family has a special meaning at oil dry. Today, all four of Dick and Shirley Jaffe's children, two of their children's husbands, and two or more members of 57 different families work for the company. As we look ahead, current issues like environmental concerns, occupational health and safety, and government regulation will not only create challenges, they'll also offer new opportunities. New acquisitions like Industrial Environmental Products Incorporated and strategic alliances with companies like Ergon will expand the markets we serve. New products like Control Cat Litter, Lasting Pride, Solar Cat Kit, and product improvements driven by customer needs will come from Oil Dry's new state-of-the-art research and development facility named for Nick Jaffe. The next 50 years promise to be as exciting and full of opportunity as our first, following our mission to develop and market sorbent products and related services which are recognized for their superior quality by our customers worldwide to combine research of our sorbents with our understanding of the marketplace in order to expand our business opportunities, to maximize the long-term return for our stockholders, employees, and customers, and to conduct all business activities with the highest standards of safety, fairness, honesty, and ethical responsibility. The power of strategic alliances the vision to see a need and capitalize through innovation. The drive and dedication of people united by a common mission. We are the Oil Dry family, celebrating 50 years together.